that going. Again, the two guys that, that I feel like really need to step up and start uh, giving this team some help is, is, is Carlos and Dimitri, and uh, we're going to have to use those guys, you know, for the rest of the season. And we knew that going into the season, those guys we were going to need them. They just haven't had the opportunities yet. And uh, moving forward, we're going to have to really rely on those guys to make some big plays, not only down the field, but but in other aspects of the game. They're going to have to play minutes, and, and that's good. That's what you want. That's why you want to. That's why you have six, seven, eight guys that you want to be able to play and. And uh, those guys are no different, and we got to get them rolling. You were obviously very excited about the freshmen coming into the season. Did you think by the third week they would be the guys there in crunch time, getting the majority of, of all the reps I tell you, Andy, I, I think they've kind of <laughs> outdone my expectations at this point, uh, this early in the season. I felt like at some point those guys uh, would be big time contributors, and like I, like I said before the season, were they going to start? Were they not going to start? Who knows? But, but that would play itself out. But to think at this point, four games in, that both of those guys could potentially be starting on Saturday, uh, you know, that I, I wouldn't have told you that. And uh, But, hey, it's great. They're, if they're the two best guys that are playing, they're going to be the starters. Willie's having a good season so far. He, he had a great day today. He's, he's obviously the leader of our group, continue to be the leader of the group. He's taken those young guys under his wing and done a great job helping them out. And, and uh, you know, I really like where our core is at right now. We're not going to talk about it. It's a, it's a personal issue. We're not going to talk about it. What did you? Uh, what did Cam do at the end of that game? I mean, what was it? What was it about him that made him able to just get right in there and make an impact right away? Like that? Cam, Cam's a Cam's a game. I mean, you watched him when he was in high school. He was the same way. You know, you watch him. You watch him out of practice. He does great things, and, and to be able to put him in a game, and I didn't even think twice. It was go, let's play. And, and, and he, for him to go out there and, and do some things that he didn't even practice, and be able to line up in the right place and do the right thing, it shows you where he's at. He's prepared mentally, obviously prepared physically, and, and you saw it a couple times early when he got that ball in his hand. The moves he was able to make after he got the ball—that's just natural instinct. And, and you kind of, we all went, whoa. You know, and, and, and then Michael obviously kept seeing him and kept feeding him, and, and, and Cam played a heck of a game, and, and I think his confidence is sky high right now, and you got to watch that. You know, you want to make sure he's still in a, like a level place. You don't want to you don't want to be too high. You don't want to be too low. It's kind of our position because things happen. You have a drop. You have a missed assignment. You know, you miss a block, and you, you got to be able to stay in that even place where you got to be. You want you expect yourself to make all the plays, but you can't let one thing affect the next. And I think that Cam and Isaiah both do a really good job of kind of staying even, but but understanding the highs and how fun it is to to be on those highs, but not letting themselves ever get too low. And that that's kind of a confidence thing to be honest. You, you mentioned you you've kind of mentioned past similar things about Isaiah, the fact that he's picked things up sort of naturally and quickly and. and is it? I think it's got to be incredibly uncommon to have two true freshmen kind of come in and do those kinds of things right away. Huh? Yeah, I mean it's just it's just that when you look at certain guys, you just kind of you kind of see things that just remind you of different guys you played with or different guys that you coached. And and watching those two guys, there's just certain aspects of their game in high school that you just went, these guys are going to be really really good players and. And, and you thought going into the season those would be the, the guys that would be able to help this football team. And where they're at now, you know, what I've said, that they were that quick to help us, probably not at this point. But I'm glad they are because I'm glad they're stepping up. I'm glad they're making plays. I mean, for those guys to have all three of our touchdowns on Saturday was, was incredible, you know. And, and uh, you know, they're not, they didn't settle. Isaiah didn't score one touchdown and say, I'm good. He wanted another one, and that's what you expect, you know. From, from great players, they always want the next one. They don't, settle on, they don't settle on one catch. They don't settle on five catches. They want the next catch. They want the next touchdown. They want the next big third down conversion. And those guys have those traits, and I'm, I'm really excited about the future with those guys. Isaiah's 